no way, 2K. There is no way. What is going on, guys? It is Judge Flow 21 here with this rant video. We got to discuss a lot about NBA 2K22 because, yo, honestly, I cannot believe this. I, I'm in disbelief right now. Yo, make sure y'all check this out, bro. We got 2K22 upcoming news. Week of August 23rd, season's WNBA. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't care. Week of August 30th, gameplay my team. I care a little bit because I want to see the gameplay. But my team, nah, not so much. But I know the, the my team community is huge. So I cannot wait for this. Now, we're in August 23rd. You know, it's a Monday. So we're going to see if they release more news and whatnot. So I cannot wait for this. Then, week of September 6th. The game drops September 10th. So September 6th, you're gonna give me the city in my career and my NBA? What? They have never done this in any other 2K. This is crazy. I I just I'm just lost for words, man. I'm just lost for words. As we an inch closer to the release date of NBA 2K22, we've learned very little about what features the game includes. It is very true, man. We don't have nothing. We have a little screenshot. We have little ratings, but we want to see gameplay, man. All this news about the battle passes for free. They're going to have different moves throughout, but Mike said we're going to have a lot of moves to start off with, but we want the gameplay. I mean, Mike went off the other day. I think he got in trouble by 2K. They told him to delete. He deleted everything, but you know, we got everything pretty much. You know, like I said in my uh, previous video, current and next gen, when it comes to the 99 overall, it's a little bit different. Current gen, you can lose your 99. Next gen, you keep it. So keep that in mind when you're making your builds. When it comes to shooting, shooting aiming is gone. It's more predictable this year. You do not, you do not need to be a high overall to be able to hit perimeter threat shots and timing still matters. That kind of worries me, man, because I wonder if, you know, lockdowns and glass cleaners are going to be able to hit threes if they're open. I mean, I, I get it to a certain point, they're NBA players, so they should be able to hit the open shot, but uh, I'm a little worried, I'm not going to lie. The vibration shot cue is removed. Turning off the shot meter gives players a boost. I mean, we all know that. We don't really use the meter. There is a new shot meter the steady shooter badge is removed and dribbling like i told you guys it is closer to 2k 20 and not 21 which i like but they really don't uh say if that's for current or next gen it just says 2k 22 so i'm not sure if both games are dribbling more towards 2k20 with new animation so that's just something we got to see new seasonal animation content drops are my players only the goal is to keep the game fresh all year long then we turn into fortnite and encourage players to use signature moves that they otherwise may not have however there will still be a variety of moves to choose from at launch some of the seasonal content will be exclusive but the actual on-card gameplay signature shoots and moves will stay and once it's released so you know once they drop something you you're good you got it you got it more jump shot landings will be added i like that they plan to release the same signature animations on both generations so man it's good and bad. It's a gift and a curse. They're giving like almost the same stuff on current and next gen, but this whole two game thing, it has to stop next year. 2K, wow, 2K23? That sounds crazy. We need gameplay features, everything a lot earlier, and we need one game. I'm sorry to the people that don't have the new gens, but come on, man. If you really want it, you can get it. But now, there's no point of getting it if you know you're going to be playing on current gen. There's, there's no point. So... 2k is just trying to get their money bro and that's pretty much today's video i just had to get on here and and rant about that because yo i find that i find that insane that i pre-ordered a game to play it at launch on september 10th but i'm only gonna see gameplay in the park in the city and in a cruise ship on september 6th let me know what y'all feel about this yo give me a like because over here man we try straight bangers 
drop straight bangers and I'm also on my lunch break so you know I will appreciate a goddamn like it's your boy Jerry stay blessed who knows what we're gonna do next but I'm out yo 2k what are you doing bro September 6th the game dropped September 10th you know what I, I'm just gonna end the video right here